Hello everyone. So here we are. Yes, time is is moving constantly. Time is going to run out though one day soon for each and every one of our lives. You may take your last breath here. And when you take that last breath, do you know where you're going to take your next breath? Do you know this? And um the rapture is about to happen. One of the two could happen. And you need to know that you know where you're going to be when you take your last breath. Many people just keep living day by day by day. Oobla di, oobla da. Life goes on. Whatever, whatever. Oh, we go on to a better place. I've been, I've been, I'm a good person. I, I treat people good. I help people do things that they need done, and uh, whatever I can do to help others, I believe God sees that and He will honor that. And I see, I think He'll let me into heaven for sure. Well, guess what? We are saved by grace through faith and that not of ourselves, not of works, least any man could boast. It is the gift of God. That's Ephesians chapter 2 verses 8 and 9 that tells you that. And there is no other name under heaven whereby we must be saved. The only name we can be saved by is Jesus, Acts 4.12. Religion cannot save you. It's the deeds and doctrines of man. Again, there's nothing we can do to be saved. You go to these churches of religion, and that's what it's all about. Works, works, works. It's all a deception from Satan. He comes to steal, kill, and destroy, don't you know? Time is ticking. Time is running out. You've got to choose this day whom you will serve. Today may be your last, or the rapture could happen, and you'd be left behind without Jesus. And the only alternative, if you die without Jesus... You will not go to heaven. You will enter hell. You open your eyes in that horrific place called hell. Nobody wants to talk about that in religion. Why is that? Because that's where you go for sure. And religious leaders will not tell you that. Why not? Because their God is the God of this world, Satan. Will they tell you that? Will they admit that out loud? Will they even... Acknowledge it in any way, shape, or form that the God they serve is not the true God in heaven? No, they won't tell you that. They probably are so deceived themselves, they just want to think that being good is enough. But truly, I believe deep down that the leaders of religion, they all know the God they serve is Satan. They don't believe in Jesus. They don't want anything to do with Jesus the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the Savior of the world, the Son of God Almighty Himself. Wherever you started out in life, when you took your first breath here, chances are you were rooted in that since you were a child through the, uh, the, um, the generations that have been in your family. Your family can't save you. The customs of your family can't save you. The good deeds of your family can't save you. The, ch the connections in the chains of the people you know cannot save you. You may boast and brag about all the accomplishments you've made in life. And you may be a humongous uh, success in this world of a prestigious company, making lots and lots of money. But you know what? Money? Ugh, that means nothing to God. The love of money is the root of all evil. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father but by him, he tells us in John fourteen six. Jesus is Lord. It's whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. If you profess with your mouth, Lord Jesus, and you believe in your heart that God rose him from the dead, the Bible says you shall be saved. Don't worry what people think about you. Again, it's what, what matters is what God knows. He knows your heart. He knows where you're going at this very moment. He knows your, he, he, you can't fool him with your good works. You can't fool him with the lies you tell others that, oh yeah, I know Jesus, sure. But if you're in religion, no, you don't know Jesus. That's not Jesus in there. Those religious places are not serving Jesus. You don't go to a man in a box to tell your sins. They can't forgive you of your sins. They can't cleanse you of all unrighteousness. 
It's time for everybody to wake up and believe the truth of the God of the, the Bible. Believe every word. Believe every word of the Holy Bible. Now, one word in, in this Bible is not true. Everything spoken in the Word of God is true. Now, the choice is yours. You be led by the Holy Spirit and call on Jesus. And then you follow him by trusting and believing in him. Or, no, no thanks, you say, I'm, I'm good. I'm a good person. I'm good. That's not for me. Might be good for you, though. Yeah. But that's not for me. Okay. And you know what? Satan's going to welcome you to hell with open arms and stench and evil and darkness Wicked, screaming, fire and brimstone. Not a drop of water ever, ever, ever for all of eternity. You'll be screaming to get out. You'll be tormented without end. You don't want that. No human being can survive that. But you're going to be forced to be in it. Survive? That means to come out of it and be fine? I don't know if that's the definition of it. That's the way I would see surviving. You make it through it. You, and you come out on the other side as, as, as you've accomplished something good. You got through it. No, there'll be no hope in hell. There'll be no, no one to rescue you from hell. Jesus, the presence of God, is completely void in hell. Never again will you have an opportunity to call on Jesus. Never, ever again. Will you hear something in you, a still small voice saying, come, come listen to me. Don't go this way. Follow me. You know, there is a still small voice speaking to you right now. You're still here listening. That still small voice is whispering to you who doesn't know Jesus yet. He's been trying to get your attention in many different ways, but you just haven't recognized it yet because... You've been too busy loving this world and, and, the, and the pleasures of this life. And much of it is sinful. Not everything. But there's nothing clean of this world. In heaven, oh, where no eye has seen and no ear has heard what God has in store for those who love him. In heaven, there'll be no darkness, no sin ever, ever again. Only joy, the joy of the Lord everywhere, the light, bright, shining light. There'll be no need for the sun to shine anymore because the light will radiate through Jesus, the light of the world, the Son of God. He will reign and rule forever and ever and ever at the right hand of the Father in heaven, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. We will meet all three of them. We will know them. How? When we get our spiritual bodies and we're with them, that's the only way we'll know. In this life, there's no explanation, no real understanding of everything that's waiting us in heaven for those who believe in Jesus. But yeah, time is running out for you to get to know him. But it's not too late. You still hear the voices speaking about Jesus. Now it's time for you to answer because your next breath may be your last. Jesus truly loves you. This I know. Mm -hmm. Because the Bible tells me so. And one day every knee will bow. Every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God. So you must bow now. Or you will bow later at that great white throne of judgment when that day comes at the end of, oh my goodness, of the millennial age when every knee will bow before him. Everyone. You'll never escape hell once you go to, you know, that final great, great white throne of judgment when, when God asks you, what did you do about Jesus? How did you live for Jesus? And what have you done that did save you from hell? Or however he asks, how will you be accounted for? And when you get there, is he going to say to you, depart from me, I never knew you? Yes, he will. 
because he will not see Jesus living in you. And then a great mighty angel takes you and picks you up and casts you into the lake of fire, burning with fire and brimstone forever and ever and ever. That's it for you. I don't wish that upon you, but more than anything, God does not want that for you. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever shall believe in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Think of your son, your daughter, your child, or a loved one you know dearly if you don't have your own children. Think of them giving up their life to save you, to save the whole world, to save anyone. Just being nailed to a cross alone. Oh God, thank you, Jesus. The suffering he went through for us. How could you ignore that? Oh, you say you don't believe. Please. There's a measure of faith given in every single one of us because Jesus is God manifested in the flesh and God is the one who created each and every one of us with that measure of faith engraved in our hearts. We know him from the moment we come to life. You'll be without excuse. You can deny all you want, but your knowledge is is zero as far as you coming against God and what he says is true. He is truth. He cannot lie. The truth will set you free. John 8, 32, you shall know the truth and the truth, capital T that is, shall make you free and free indeed. A little child knows and understands much easier than many adults because you know why the adults are having a hard time? Because no one can tell you what to do. You make your choices. You do what you want. You don't want to let go of that beer. You don't want to let go of your sin that you love. Oh my gosh, you can't control your hormones. You've got to get out there and fix that with whoever will agree to lay with you. Please, repent. You filthy rags, you filthy sinners out there. We're all filthy. We're all, none of us are perfect. None of us are righteous. No, not one. We've got to repent. We've got to give our lives to Jesus and let him take the wheel. Let him lead these vessels. Again, of ourselves, we can do nothing without Jesus. We can't get to heaven without Jesus. You've got to repent. Turn away from your wicked way of living. Turn away from all sin and turn to Jesus. That's what it means to repent. Turn to the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, one who died to save you, to make you a child of God, saved by grace through faith, definitely not of works. Only by the grace of God can you be free from your sin if you call on his name and believe. Jesus loves you. Yes, he does. Even you. God bless you, Jesus.